internet. It is Friday the 15th of February 2019. Behind me you see a vast stretch of water. That is Jarvis Bay and I am here at Orion Beach which is in Vincentia and I'm here to make a snorkel mask review but this snorkel mask is something different. This is exciting. I love it when manufacturers change things up and try to do something a little bit different and that's certainly what this mask has done. This here is the K2 from HJKB. I have to acknowledge I have no idea what K2 stands for or what HJKB stands for. K2 is the name of this mask. HJKB is the manufacturer's name. However, K2 is the shortened version. The full name of this mask is HJKB K2 One Way Outer Circulation Breathing Separation Snorkeling Mask. So if you're searching for it, that's what you need to search for. Mind you, I need to alert you to the fact that this product is not actually available to purchase. This is a test product, so I'm reviewing it to tell you what it's like, and then the company will then release the product. So at the stage that you're watching this video, if you're watching it as it launches, there will be no links in the description for purchasing. I will come back later on in history, in the future, and I'll add the links to when this is available to purchase. Before we open it, let me tell you a little about it. Like many of these full face masks, the HJKB crew tell me that their K2 mask will give you a 180 degree ocean view. You look at this mask and you see two tubes coming out of your mouth. This is what K2 are calling their outer recirculation breathing system. That double recirculation allows the oxygen to come in, carbon dioxide coming out of your mouth comes out the front of the mask on that circle which you can see here. Now they've told me that they've mechanically isolated the carbon dioxide from the oxygen so you should never have that feeling of suffocation which we've talked about on these mask reviews before. And that massive area of beautiful 180 degree vision in front of you. That enables you to breathe out of your nose or your mouth and that allows you to relax more and enjoy the surrounds, not focusing so much on the snorkel, but focusing more on the snorkeling. They're also talking about three levels of waterproof. They're calling it waterproof safety, but what they mean is leakage. There's no leakage on this mask because of three things. The silicon around the face of the mask. That silicon uses what they're calling an eye-shaped waterproof structure. Not I, the letter I. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but that's what they're telling me. And the exhale spiral tube, which I'm assuming is this thing in the front, is 50 degree waterproof. Now I'm just reciting the facts. Doesn't make much sense to me, but I'm just letting you know what I've been told. And that exhaust spiral also uses the deep dive special check valve for heavy level waterproof. Again, just letting you know what I've been told. And HJKB make no exception. They've included a layer of anti-fog film on this mask. They've already said that. They've put this film on it, which guarantees 15 thousand hours of fog-free snorkeling. Now here's a feature that's very confusing to me, but I think I know what they're saying. They've included something for the backstroke lover. We're talking about style of swimming, when you're swimming on your back, arms going over. Typically with full face snorkel masks, you can't perform that swimming maneuver because when your head goes back, the ball in the snorkel tube locks. But they're telling me that they've got around that somehow, so I'm gonna test that in the water. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. We'll see. HJKB have also provided an adjustable strap system, which is nothing new or nothing fantastic. Every one of these masks has that. I'm keen to see how this one works because they're telling me it guarantees comfort. That's a strong guarantee for comfort. Everyone's comfort levels are different. So that's all the specifications. Are you keen to see what this thing looks like? Because I certainly am. Let's crack it open. Wow, there's some assembly required. That's it, no Ziploc bag. I was really looking forward to tearing it open with my teeth and causing all kinds of trouble on the internet. What's interesting here with the K2 from HJKB, there are no instructions in the box. Bear in mind, this is not a retail mask at this stage. Perhaps there'll be an instruction manual in the one that you buy further in the future. I'm gonna use my brain power and work out how this goes. I'd say that just goes in there. Okay. Where do you think these go? Yeah. And that's it. Oh, GoPro mount. This one's interesting. It just slides in like a little hot shoe mount. That's it. What about these, um... Oh, okay, cool. That's interesting. 
You can angle it around however you wish. I guess that means when you're snorkeling and you go under the water, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to work that out when we get in the water. I'm keen to go in the water and test this. Let's go snorkeling. So like any full face snorkel mask, you loosen the flaps here, loosen it as far as you can, and then you slide it over your head. Wow. That. What? That GoPro mount is smashing my forehead. I'm taking that off straight away. There's no way that's staying on there. That's a terrible design. That was actually hitting my forehead. With that removed, let's try it again. Okay, that feels better. It's still hitting my, still hitting my forehead though. The only thing to try now is snorkeling. Okay, I've got a quick thing to note with this mask. When you breathe in, hold on a second. When you breathe in, it really sucks against your face. And when you exhale, it really lifts off your face. Now that's a feeling I've not experienced in any full face mask. Normally it's on your face and it stays in the same spot. I'm feeling like this moves around a lot. It moved down my chin, up my chin, and that suction feeling, it's kind of hard to explain, but it doesn't feel like it's sitting where it should be sitting. I'm willing to give it another shot though. I came back up, took a breath in, water came in through here, landed in my mouth as I breathed in. It's I do really like how you can move up and down. I'm not 100% certain what benefit that would give you, but I like that you can do it. Maybe that's what the backstroke thing is all about. Let me give that a shot, huh? I'll go from snorkeling on my front and then I'll flip to backstroke and see if it works. water through the front part of the mask right as I inhaled. That's not a good thing. The backstroke thing does work, but I'm not 100% certain when as a snorkeler you'd actually use that. Could certainly see someone doing the fitness thing back and forward, back and forward, and maybe in an Olympic sized pool on their back. Certainly that would be great. I just don't think I'd be using it while snorkeling. My thoughts on the K2 from HJKB. Can you see that thing in my forehead, lump on my forehead? That GoPro mount, even once it's been removed, that was still smashing into my forehead the whole time. Very uncomfortable, not a pleasant feeling. I really enjoyed the idea of the backstroke capabilities. That was kind of cool. As you can see from right now, 
the anti-fog protection film certainly works. Look how much fog there is in the rest of the mask, but you can see where the film is that it's not fogged up. That's a hands down win. I'm not 100% certain what the benefit of these two inhale tubes is. As I was breathing, it felt like the mask was sucking on harder. And then when I'd breathe out, it felt like it, it didn't, it didn't feel like a natural fit to me. Something felt like it was pulse, pulsing almost. Perhaps in the final version of the K2 from HJKB, these issues will be addressed. As I mentioned, this is not a retail product at this point. There was water coming in when I would resurface. Now look, let's be fair, these masks are not designed to be going under the surface of the water. The fact that I went down anyway and tested it is on me. As a whole, I'm really impressed with HJKB redesigning and rethinking this full face concept. There's a lot of masks out there that are just copying and mimicking and doing the same thing. At least these guys have tried something entirely different. I also gotta say, I was a little disappointed by Vincentia and Orion Beach in terms of marine life. I saw one pretty decent sized fish, didn't see much else. But then don't forget, we have been smashed with some pretty bad weather. There's been a lot of rainfall, a lot of dust storms. Maybe that's kind of done something to the marine life. There was another snorkeler just around the corner here who had a regular snorkel mask and they were pretty excited by what I was doing asking me can they test it they're on a catamaran just moored around the corner here they said let's go out and take you out further out into the Jarvis Bay and we'll show you all the better snorkeling spots so let's go and do that right now oh that's um we're out of I know I keep running out of time on my own vlog. I probably should get that checked out, right? Hey, if you like what you've seen here on this channel and you want to become a giver and you want to contribute maybe financially, the description field of this video has plenty of ways to do that. And if you want to be a giver on any other level, please consider subscribing or watching my previous vlog or a random vlog, or you could even become a Patreon of mine right here. What's that? Yeah, yeah, we've got a bit of time. Yeah, I've got more time, can't believe it. Let's just chill out here while we got time. You got time? I got time. We've all got time. <laughs>